as soon as I started my sketch, she just jumped up here. And she's helping me now. Let me go. Yeah. She liked the sound of the colored pencil on the canvas, but uh, I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool, <laughs> I think. It's Megan or Mad Little Crafter here, and uh, you haven't seen me on camera in a long time. It's mostly just been my hands or like whatever. But um, basically, I just haven't been feeling like getting in front of the camera lately, and that's okay. I can do stuff that's not my face in front of the camera, and I look super pale in this lighting. Oh well. But anyways, today um, I'm going to paint, and the last time I painted was in high school, was in s sophomore year of high school, I think, maybe, and I painted like this big wooden thing and it was like a mermaid and stuff like that, but um, basically I've been watching Banana Jamama, and if you don't know who she is, she's lovely and she's insanely talented, like it's crazy, and basically I she just inspired me and I want to paint now, and I'm like, I've had, I've had these canvases sitting around for forever because I've been like like literally years I've been because I've been wanting to paint but I've always been like I'm not good enough to paint though like I'm not good enough yet like I'm like once once my art skill hits that point then I'll go ahead and paint but I realized that my art skills never gonna hit that point unless I just do it so <laughs> basically I've got all this sudden energy to just do it just like so I'm just gonna paint and um basically this is a really long intro, this is pointless. But anyways, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint, um, I've been listening to, I've listened to the audiobook like three times, and I finally bought the book itself. It's Good Omens by Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, and this, Adri recommended it to me, and I listened to it a long time ago, and I loved it. This book is hilarious, it's funny, it's perfect. Um, if any of you have not read it, you should read it. Basically, it's about the apocalypse, and someone misplaced the Antichrist, and <laughs> the two main characters, Crowley and Azaraphale, Azar Azaraphale? Azaraphale. I can't human today, that's fine. But um, basically the two main characters are lovely and Azaraphale's my favorite and he's an angel, Crowley's a demon. But I was like, what am I gonna paint? Because I just want to paint. And I decided, well I'm reading this book and I really love this book, so I'm going to paint Crowley and Azaraphale by these two canvases that are the same size. So I did a little concept sketch and I'm just gonna do them, can you even see this? Ooh, light. I'm gonna do them facing each other. So I'm going to do um, Azaraphale first and then Crowley, but um, basically I'm just going to do it. And it's probably not going to turn out anything spectacular, amazing, whatever, um, but everybody's not competent in their own art skill and it's just, just do it, just do it, whatever, whatever. I did a bigger concept sketch of him and I don't like the eyes at all, so I'm going to take the eyes out and the mouth and just basically do it kind of a silhouette-ish. Also. Another video is coming out. I'll be in the same outfit probably because I'm really pumped to like film today. For some reason, it's really weird. Um, so you'll see this same sketchbook in another video in a little bit. And I'm just going to talk about sketchbooks because I made an insane rant the other night about sketchbooks. But basically, in a clip you've seen before this, probably maybe Magic of Editing. I don't know where I'll put it. But I sketched out... You're not even going to see this on the canvas. I sketched out basically what I'm going to follow for a Xerophil. And I have my paints... And we're just gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna film it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it, but whatever. So, end of the painting.
I needed to stand up because my back was killing me. Um, I just painted it straight through <laughs> instead of taking any breaks, which was a little insane. Um, halfway through, I stopped the video and I did an Instagram live stream of it for a little bit, which was really fun because I've never really done that before. Um, I've done it before with um, the crocheting stuff, but I've never done it with like painting or drawing or anything. But um, here it is. I mean, as first paintings go, I'm, I'm happy with it. I mean, I kind of like how it turned out. Um, I guess that's because you're your own toughest critic, but this was my first ever canvas painting, so it turned out all right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I want to do the other one so I can see what it's like side by side with it. Um, this was like a last minute addition, the stripe, because I had a circle originally in the um, drawing and I mean like I see all sorts of things that's wrong with it because I did it but I mean I, I like it so um constructive criticism is welcome if any of you paint out there or anything like that because this is my first type of anything like this so yeah thanks for watching guys um that was my Zara fail painting I'll do Crowley next I don't know if that will be next week or what just whenever I get around I'm gonna do it on this one and have them facing each other. Hopefully I can get the stripes to line up too. I'll do a red stripe on his or something like that. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Remember I do have a, a Ko-fi, so if you want to help support my online content and stuff like that, you can go ahead and just get a cup of coffee or whatever. The link is in the down bar down description below, and I will see you next time. Bye!